Hey, what's up YouTube? It's really Rick. Now, the question I probably get asked more than any other is how much money do you make as a YouTube partner? And well, that's just a question that <laughs> I don't answer. Um, and when people tell me to get a real job, I tell them that uh, I do have a job, I'm a YouTube partner, and it actually pays enough bills to where I don't have to work. But people have been sending me this link that's been going around the web, and, you know, I thought, hey, why don't I read it and maybe tell you what other YouTube partners are making? Uh, apparently, it was posted on Yahoo Finance on August 19th of 2010, and it's called Meet the YouTube Stars Making 100000 plus per year. And let me read the article to you. It says, there are 10 independent YouTube stars who made over $100,000 in the past year, according to a study done by analytics and advertising company Tube Mogul. From July 2009 to July 2010, Tube Mogul used their viewership data to estimate the annual income for independent YouTube partners, which they define as anyone who is not part of a media company or brand. Okay, here's where it gets a little kind of, you know, weird. Here's how they get their estimates. Revenue only comes from banner ads served near content. We ignored pre-roll or overlay since we can't easily isolate the publisher. Since YouTube banner ads have a two second load delay, we estimate 2.59% of viewers click away before an ad loads based on separate research. Ads were served near all videos that loaded. Since there are partners, this is generally true. CPM for the banner ads was, okay, here's $1.50. Google auctions a lot of this inventory off. We rounded this 2009 estimate down to be conservative. And it says YouTube is splitting ad revenue with partners 50-50. Basically, take their views from the past year Assume a few don't stick around long enough for an ad to load, divide that number by 1,000, multiply by $1.50, and divide that number in half. Conservative estimates? Sure. But with that math, you get a pretty decent estimate of how much these YouTube celebrities are making from just the banner ads on their channel. So without further ado, here are the highest earning YouTube stars. You ready? Let's do it in reverse order. Number 10, Natalie Tran, $101,000. Under the username of Community Channel, Natalie Tran is the most subscribed to YouTube user in Australia. Like most others on the list, she is a video blogger and occasionally uploads comedy skits. In ninth place, with $112,000, The Young Turks. The Young Turks is a political talk show that also airs on Sirius Satellite Radio. Founded and hosted by Senk Unger, the Young Turks talk show and their vast viewership has proven that the internet can be a viable broadcast platform. Number 8. With $113,000 a year, Smosh. Smosh is the comedy duo of Ian Hecox and Anthony Padilla. And with over 1.7 million subscribers, they make up the fifth most popular YouTube channel. They first shot to viral fame with their Pokemon-themed music video, which became YouTube's most viewed video in the spring of 2006. However, due to copyright reasons, the original video was removed from YouTube. In seventh place, Mediocre Films, with an income of $116,000. Greg Benson created Mediocre Films initially for sketch comedy TV series called Skip TV. The show lasted for one season, and now Benson makes low-budget comedy videos for the web. In sixth place, with $140,000, Shay Carl. As a radio DJ, Shay Carl started making comedy skits and put them on YouTube for the world to see. He claims to have held 20 different jobs before settling down with his DJ and YouTube gigs. In fifth place, surprisingly, Fred with $146,000. Lucas Krushank plays a lonely six-year-old named Fred who uses his mom's video camera and posts videos on a YouTube channel. 
as the second most subscribed to YouTube channel. Lucas, Lucas is immensely popular. Fred character even has a movie coming out backed by Nickelodeon. All right, with $151,000 income, Ryan Higa. Ryan Higa makes comedy skits and is a video blogger who turned into a viral star with his How to Be a Gangster and How to Be a Ninja videos. Even though he doesn't upload as many videos as his fellow YouTube celebrities, Higa is still the top dog at YouTube with over 2.6 million subscribers. In third place, a sexy Phil, full up to Franco with an income of $181,000, Phil. Thank you, DeFranco Nation. Philip DeFranco uploads a new video onto YouTube every Monday through Thursday for his show, The Philip DeFranco Show. His video blogging topics range from politics to pop culture. Number two, surprised even me, with $288,000 a year, The Annoying Orange. The Annoying Orange is a comedy web series that takes place in a kitchen and is about talking fruit. Dane Bodingheimer is the mastermind behind the series and is also the voice of the orange. And number one, the most richest person on YouTube partner with $315,000, you guessed it, Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson is so popular that he has three different YouTube channels. His most popular channel consists of his comedy skits and music video parodies. Dawson created a second channel as a vlog and a separate series called Ask Shane. And his third channel only has videos taken from his iPhone. So I hope I'm not revealing any major secrets. This was, uh, like I said, on Yahoo Finance public domain. I know people don't like their income shown, but when you're a celebrity, it's kind of goes with the territory. So there you go. I hope it gives you an idea of how much some YouTube partners can make. And maybe if you are good at math, you can extrapolate my views and how much money I make. So that's my video for this week. Thank you guys for all the questions, and I'll see you later.